did you guys know in Morocco it is illegal for a woman to reserve a hotel under her name in the city within which she resides. And you're probably thinking, what? What does that even mean, right? You're allowed to reserve hotels in other cities because that would imply that you're traveling. However, they assume that if you're reserving a hotel within your city, it means you're up to no good. Which is a little bit insane. No, not just cheating, guys. Prostitution. Which is a little bit insane and a little bit funny because, one, like, let's be for real, in heteronormative relationships, it's going to be the guy who books. Okay, you know how people say, if you work hard enough, you know, you can make it from nothing to everything. It really fucking depends where you are and even the resources available in your country. If I had grown up in Canada, I would have, sorry, in Canada. If I had grown up in Morocco, I would have never been the streamer that I am. Even with my interest in gaming, with my personality, with my whatever. So that's why I feel like it's kind of unfair when people say shit like that. Like, let's be so for real. Yes, I heard this. Literally 100,000 Moroccan people have been refused a visa just last year. For like no reason. Like, come on. Especially young people straight out of... I'll wear sunglasses. I'll have my hair hella curly. I'll do the, the most random shit. And the thing is... People will not only recognize me, they will, I'll be with a friend and they'll just be yelling out, Pokemon in the middle of the fucking street and I want to die. Because <laughs> I think sometimes like they don't like fully want to go up to you. So they literally, they just yell your fucking name and like it's not even my name. But you know what I mean? I feel like I've just put too much of my, stop. It's literally, it is actually this emote they're like pokemon and i'm like oh like when a parent is embarrassing you and you're with your friends you know what i mean <laughs> um higher security do you guys think that there is certain humor that is acceptable privately that is not acceptable publicly wow literally all yeses Okay, because I kind of agree. Because I, I realize that a lot of humor is kind of not okay publicly because you don't know how an audience is going to take it. But between two people, certain, like, a context is more understood. You know what I mean? Like, card style? Do you color those? Nope. They come colored, but you need to assemble them. Hey, hey. Sign on the water like a jet ski. Uh. And your bestie, yeah. Do not test it here. Hey. Hey. Is your fucking problem? Bring your girls to the crib. Maybe we can solve it. You've been feeding on. The tro cheered Hello. 200 bits. Hey, that we speak I really in love your word. room. It heard my it's album. so cute. Sleeping on. The tro too cool. What's so cute? Anyways, I, I was like, ah, I need to go. <laughs> I really respect your hard work and dedication. Thank you. What motivated you to keep on going in the beginning? I just started my channel besides my full time job, and it's pretty hard. Do you have some tips? Would mean the world to me. Friendly regards, Toby. You're awesome. It's always been really hard for me to answer this question.
cute. ¿Qué tal con el español con Duolingo? I don't know what tal means. Something with Spanish with Duolingo. Yes, I am trying to learn Spanish with Duolingo. Yeah. Yes, Lord. I don't really say this often, but this long. As I said, I love going to cafes, right? Call that my hobby. Do I need motivation to go to a cafe? No, I already want to do that shit. So when people are like, hey, I just started a YouTube channel, but I'm not really motivated to post. I'm like, go find another fucking hobby then. Go golf. Go knit. Go do something else. Do something you enjoy. Why? You don't need motivation to do something like content creation because you don't need to do it. When are the vlogs going to be posted? Uh, probably not for another week. I would guess. I would guesstimate. I post on threads sometimes. Bro, last time I checked, I was like at half a mil almost. But I feel like threads needs to come out with a few things to get their, get the user base going, you know. <laughs> um i think i'm gonna go to twitchcon in vegas but if i'm being honest with you guys i don't know if i'm gonna do a meet and greet but i'll probably go see friends Welcome Yay, back to the post game interview, and I'm joined by none other than the Fear the Beard Man himself. I got Zazel from Disguised here. How are you if you guys haven't figured out, Zazel was the one that received two separate LCS offer, each worth more than ten times what he was being paid here, and he turned them both down. What went into the finish? What went into the strong kind of uh, two last series for you guys? Yeah, I mean it feels pretty great. Um... You know, low key, Vandal no skin is kind of nice. Yeah. Whenever I pick it up, I'm like pleasantly surprised. I feel like it's also like the fact that you haven't used it in a while and you just see the skin differently. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure if it's all I had, yeah. I would hate it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Um, I had such a fun stream with Domingo. I don't know if you guys saw it, but that shit was cracking me up. Did you also see Lisa from Blackpink in Paris? Yeah, we were hanging out like every other day, but then I got a little bit too busy for her, so... I was like, I'll see you in LA whenever you're back. No, girl, I wish. I feel like... Thank you for the rose. Mmm, smells so good. Thank you for the rose. Mmm, smells so good. Thank you for the ice cream. Thank you for the ice cream. <laughs> uh, can I, 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 Everybody still alive for now. Medio for the good catch. Oh, and a double. And we own. North America gets three in a row. That's what that was a limited lawn. Macaroni. I they're gonna back that's like they're falling yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll i think at twitchcon we're bringing some but that's all oh, i don't see them crossing no the uh, me. could they be up to see uh oh i hear our front garage front oh i have doomed it all they've smoked the garage window oh my god do they want b they want b oh gosh 